When a person takes up this game, they are beginning a lifetime journey. This journey is a pathway with a series of steps and goals. Some are at the beginning of the journey, and their goal is to simply make consistent contact with the ball. Others are further along, and their goal is to break 100 for the first time, or shoot consistently in the 80s. An advanced player's goal may be to win the championship flight of a tournament. Regardless of where you are on this journey, the process of going from where you are to where you want to be is called learning. And what you have to learn is a combination of knowledge and skill. The first step in On Target's GM system is to lay down a foundation of knowledge, what I call the foundation principles of the game and the golf swing. The first question I would ask before playing any new game is what is the object of the game? The first foundation principle you need to understand is there is a direct correlation between the object of the game and the correct fundamental golf swing. Too many golfers swing at the ball as if the object of the game is to hit the ball as far as possible and distance is the only thing that matters. Likewise, the object of the game isn't just hitting to a 70 yard target as if accuracy and consistency were the only thing that mattered. If we saw a 100 year evolution of the golf swing focusing exclusively on distance or exclusively on accuracy, we'd see a different swing than what the pros have today. Their fundamental swing looks the way it does because golf combines distance, accuracy, and consistency. This is what makes it such a great and difficult game. Between distance, accuracy, and consistency, distance is the least important. Golf is a game of control, not power. Every tour pro has trained their swing to hit in an exact distance. Now they could swing in ways to hit further than this exact distance, but they know if they tried to swing harder at the ball to gain more distance, they would lose too much control and couldn't play professional golf. There's no question that the pros have power. Even the shortest hitters on tour hit it further than most amateurs. But it is the control in their game, not the power in their game, which allows them to play professional golf. Let's illustrate this point in another way. This chart compares the skill level of the pros and amateurs. We know the pros have a high skill level in distance, accuracy, and consistency. Many amateurs can hit the ball as far as the pros. In fact, it is possible for some first-year golfers to equal the distance of the pros. But it is absolutely impossible for any beginning golfer to achieve the accuracy and consistency of the pros even after five years of practice. The point is this. For many of you, the distance in your game is more comparable to the pros than the accuracy and consistency in your game. If you want to play more like the pros, then work on that part of your game that is least like the pros. Before we move on, I want to make sure my point is clear. I am not saying that distance isn't important. I want you to have sufficient distance to reach greens and regulation. For some, it is the lack of distance that prevents you from scoring well and you need to work on those fundamentals that produce more distance. But for the vast majority of golfers, it is the lack of consistent control, not lack of distance, that prevents them from shooting lower scores.